Cash HQ. Today we'd like to give you some information about dry suit zips, some detailed information which is not available readily. Firstly, for dry suit zips, um, the most important thing to note is that it's the most important, uh, expensive component on your dry suit. And unfortunately, for suits that last a long time, the zip is going to fail. There's no zip which is going to last longer than the dry suit itself. So you need to be looking after it nicely and also be aware that you're going to have to replace it at some stage. So essentially, uh, as far as types of zips go, there are two types. There are plastic zips like these ones over here and metal over there. Let's just run through these, uh, these four types that we've got here. This plastic one is a Tizip Master Seal 10. It's made by Tizip in Germany. Quite a nice product and one that we fit quite often. This one is a YKK Aquaseal zip. It's made in the UK um, by BDM who are owned by YKK. These two are very similar. They, um, they work in the same way and are looked after in the same way. And they also last for a similar amount of time. Um, then we move on to the metal zips. I've got two here. This is uh, a BDM standard grade zip. By standard grade, uh, you generally have eight teeth in an inch. That's uh, about an inch there. And then the heavy duty are six teeth in an inch. So um, there are other manufacturers that produce um, a similar grade to this standard grade but uh, the BDM one is the one we found most often with, with metal zips. Um, so let me just show you how the zips actually work. When you, when you close the slider of a metal zip, these inner teeth here are going to get pushed together like that, and the sealing surface is around those inner teeth. So. Unfortunately, what you're left with once it's closed and sealed, like on this side, is exposed fabric on the outside here. This fabric is subject to fraying, and it can fray right down to those inner teeth, and the area of the, the material around the inner teeth um, can fray down to them, and, and that can sort of delaminate and dry out. Here's a zip, uh, a standard metal zip that's it's quite old, but this one has, has failed. It's frayed right from the outside, right down around those inner elements. And you can see that, that that fabric around the inner elements is just not healthy at all. So this zip is definitely going to leak and would need to be replaced completely. Um, that's mostly how metal zips fail. On plastic zip side, they work completely differently. They seal by pressing a, a thin membrane together like that. The thin membrane you can see inside there, right in the middle. Um, but because they're sealing like that, once it's closed, there's no exposed um, fabric like with the metal zips. So you can rub over there and nothing is going to happen. You, you're not damaging it at all. Um, unfortunately, they fail in a different way. The uh, fabric around, just on the outside of the, of the teeth on either side, can dry out and delaminate and also the teeth themselves are not as strong so they can also become dislodged and you can actually lose teeth completely um, so the the thing is there's no there's no ideal zip out there and you just have to know that at some stage your zip is going to fail the best you can do is look after it really nicely the most important thing to look after a zip is with lubrication um, I'll show you quickly how to lubricate a zip. On the plastic zips, they work the same. Um, they're only lubricated on the docking end, which is when it's fully closed when, on that end. So you use uh, a bit of the lubricant which comes from the supplier. Uh, you just need a tiny bit. I'll just put it on with my finger. It goes around there and around there. And then if you just close it, and open it a few times that's going to spread and that's all you need to do same with the uh, with the aqua seal zip metal zips lubrication is a bit different we like to use this product here it is uh, zip tech by magnet it's a nice paste consistency and we find it does the trick um, you lubricate a zip a metal zip on the outside you just run the paste on the outside like that 
and then if you just open and close it a few times that'll start to move more freely and that's all you have to do metal zips can also be cleaned because you might find that you get a little bit of uh, green corrosion on these on the brass of the teeth and you can just clean that off with a with a solvent and a cloth just rubbing it but be careful not to rub uh, on the outside of this fabric which would cause fraying right that is uh, zips in a nutshell the, the other thing uh, to, to looking after your zip that you want to do is try not to have any hectic bends um, metal zips are you see they don't want to bend much beyond that and don't force it because you can break teeth on a metal zip like that the plastic ones are more flexible they'll bend to that and even if you were to press that really hard and break the seal well if you just uh, open it and close it it'll come right by itself um, I think that's zips and that's uh, all the info we've got to share there's more information on the blue flash website if you go to www.blueflash.co.za there's uh, more information about, about zips there and also pricing for replacement of, of zips interesting to note we fit uh, ties up master seal 10 mostly and we fit them to our suits arcade gear suits um, they, uh, the reason we do that is we find they last more or less the, the same amount of time that a metal zip would last and yet the metal zips are much more expensive. I mean a heavy duty metal zip will be probably three times the price of uh, a plastic zip like the, the Master Seal 10. So they're also easy to work with so that's why we use them. Alright, thank you very much.